Hey you guys! So today for our reading mini lesson, we are going to be learning how to introduce a book by retelling the important parts. And for this book, or for this mini lesson, we're going to be using the book Sebastian's Roller Skates. So this book, the read aloud, is linked in your lesson plan, or you can click on it in the description box below and go ahead and read that book before we start our lesson if you have not already. Okay, so there are some things that we're gonna do to introduce this book by retelling the important parts. And the key words we're gonna look at are someone, wanted, but, so, then. And this is gonna really help us connect up those important parts and make them flow into one solid idea to introduce our book. So the first thing is someone. This is the main character and sometimes it can include other important characters, but for this book, our someone is Sebastian. He's our main character. So underneath this someone little column, I'm gonna put Sebastian. Our next column is wanted. This is what did the character want in the story? What did they want to do? What did they want to accomplish? And so in Sebastian's case, he wanted to talk more. So I'm gonna put to talk more in our wanted column. That is what Sebastian, our someone, wanted in our story. Next we have but. This usually signals our problem. So why can the character not get what they want? What's that problem? The but, our want can't happen because of our problem. So our problem was Sebastian was too shy. So I'm gonna write, he was too shy. All right, next is our so. This is how the character will solve the problem. So to get what they want, they have, but they've got this problem in their way. So what are they going to do to solve this problem to get what they want? And in our book's case, after learning to roller skate by helping someone, or at, sorry, Sebastian was learning to roller skate and by helping someone rescue their dog. So that's what he did to get over his shyness. So I'm going to say after. Let's squeeze it in there, learning to roller skate by helping someone rescue their dog. So that's what happened to help us solve the problem. And finally, we have then. This is the resolution of our story. What happens at the end that ties our book up in a nice pretty bow and solves our problems. So at the end, what happened to Sebastian? He became more confident, right? So I'm going to put he became more confident and talked more than ever. So we have retold the important parts of our story. We've introduced our someone, the main character, what they wanted, what they want in the story, what they want to accomplish, but their problem, what is getting in the way of their want, so how are they going to solve this problem? And then how did the story end? And to retell it, I'm going to combine all of these elements together. So I'm going to say, let's see, let me pick up my phone. So I'm gonna say Sebastian wanted to talk more, but he was too shy. So after learning to roller skate by helping someone rescue their dog, then, he became more confident and talked more than ever. So see how all of this really flows together and helps me put together that introducing a book? So I, if I was recommending Sebastian's roller skates to someone, I can make this chart and then introduce the book to them by saying, oh my goodness, you really need to read this book. It's about Sebastian who wanted to talk more, but he was too shy. So after learning to roller skate by helping someone rescue their dog, then he became more confident and talked more than ever. See how using this chart helps me flow through the ideas of retelling the important parts? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We're going to be working with Sebastian's roller skates a lot this week. So make sure that you are rereading and watching that read aloud. 
and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye!